guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Jodie and I am mum to four little boys. Our eldest just turned four. Um, our second son, Nico, he is almost three. Our third son, Marco, is 19 months old and our youngest, Francesco, is four and a half months old. So, as you can imagine, we have been through so much teething. <laughs> We've dealt with sleepless nights, sore gums, crying babies. Literally, we have had so much experience with teething that I kind of figured out by the second child, really, what really worked for him. And luckily enough, it's worked for the rest. Now, Francesco is only 19 weeks old, and he is teething like massively he is dribbling profusely he is just yeah fingers in his mouth all the time and i can see um swollen gums and like redness and i can see like you know you can see the little ridges so they're right there but they just haven't quite popped through yet so i just thought i would show you and share with you what we have been using to help ease the pain of teething really so i'm going to show you a few things that we use that help us um it may not work for your babies but it's definitely worked for our babies so i'm gonna get started and show you everything that we use so i'm gonna start off with these neckerchiefs or bibs whatever you like to call them dribble bibs neckerchiefs these ones are from baba bibs and i will link them down below and i love them because they are so so soft and they are actually quite big. A lot of the neckerchiefs, they like cut up really short and it just doesn't catch all the dribble. But whereas this, it's quite big once it's around the neck. And yeah, they catch so much. They are so, so soft. They've got like a fleece lining on the back and their patterns are just super, super cute. I've only brought two here to show you, but yeah, we really, really love these. And this one here. So the next thing we love is Nelson's Teether Teething Granules. We absolutely love these. I know there's another brand called Ashton and Parsons, I believe. They didn't work quite so well for us, but these ones have been absolutely amazing. So it's just a little bit of powder. You tear it open and you just pour it into their mouth. And yeah, they're, they kind of like chomp down on it. And I don't know if it's the grittiness or something in it. I think there's chamomile in here, which I think is also very soothing. Yeah, we absolutely love these. We use um, Ambersol liquid, and this is amazing. It's so easy. And we did actually try the Dentinox gel, which I think I have here, actually. But we don't use it since we found, yeah, so <laughs> we used to use it a lot. But um, since finding the Ambersol liquid, we prefer this because with the gel, when you put it on their gums, if they're so dribbly, it just tends to like dribble out of the mouth and it doesn't really stay on the gums. Whereas the Ambersol liquid, you literally just like pour a bit on your finger and rub it right into the gum. And obviously it doesn't trickle out or, or um, like go anywhere else other than where you're rubbing it, which is really, really good. So yeah, I found that the gel was a little bit too slippery and just like slipped off the gums. But um, these two together literally are a lifesaver. <laughs> they honestly work so well. So next on to toys, I'll show you these ones. These are actually um, teething toys, but they are frozen ones. So you just pop them in the freezer. It's starting to defrost now. I don't know if you can see, but we've just popped it in the freezer. And this bit here has got all different ridges on. Um, and because it's freezing cold, they really, really chomp down and it almost numbs the gums with it being so cold. And again, with this one, um, this one is a bit more tricky though because everywhere is cold. With this one there's obviously a handle so this one doesn't get cold so you can hold it and still bite and it'd be freezing whereas this one is just freezing cold all over. So Francesco doesn't usually hold this one himself. It would be, have to be me holding it in his mouth which is absolutely fine. He does actually prefer this one but I just think anything that can be put in the freezer and to be cold is absolutely fine. Also we use muslin squares. He chomps down on his muslin squares anyway and almost like puts it in his mouth bites down and like pulls it out so it's obviously like the friction i guess is soothing him but if you just wet um a little bit of the muzzy and pop it in the freezer or even the fridge just to make it cold and then they can bite down on it and that really really helps soothe them as well 
This one, you've probably seen this around. Everyone loves this toy, I think. This is a newbie or a nubby. Um, I don't really know how to say it, to be fair. But yeah, this is also a great toy. Uh, obviously, they can hold it, and there's so many different sections for them to bite down on, different textures, and yeah, I just think it's because it's bright and colourful as well. It's almost like a toy for them, isn't it? Oh, I'll link everything down below, by the way. If I can find it, I will link it below, so don't worry. Um, these Lamar's toys, this one is Riley the Raccoon. <laughs> He's got a cute little squeaker, but it also has a little teether on it as well. It's an apple, obviously. I don't know if you can see it probably upside down. It's an apple. It's got, again, different textures for them, and it's like hard plastic, so he tends to... He usually actually holds the tail at all. <laughs> So he'll hold the tail and pop the apple in his mouth and again just chomp down on it. Um, but yeah, he's really, really cute. There is one thing as well, I will insert a clip because obviously I haven't got them on me and um, Francesco is asleep so he is wearing them. But they are Baltic Amber teething bracelets and you can get them in all different sizes. You can wear them around the neck which I wasn't so keen on myself. Um, uh, around their wrists or around their ankles and they look really really cute but they are supposed to be some kind of healing stone I believe and I don't know whether it's all in my mind but whenever I have put them on Francesco he doesn't seem really that bothered about teething you know it just takes the edge off now I don't know uh, some people will probably be a bit skeptical about them but they seem to work for Francesco and they're not bothering him he doesn't touch them or fiddle with them or anything like that but yeah I will link them down below but our number one teething toy that he absolutely loves and Marco really really loved this one as well and I only got this one for Marco so the older two didn't actually have this toy but um, I know loads of people go crazy for Sophie the giraffe um, that didn't really work for my boys for some reason I'm not really sure why but we have this this amazing Zolly, I think that's how you say it. I'll link it below anyway. Um, but yeah, he, but he can basically put his little hand through here and then just chomp down on it and he absolutely loves this. So this is definitely number one on our list as a solution to teething. So yeah, um, I'll definitely link it down below and I would highly recommend this. It is um, amazing. And again, you could like pop it under the tap and put it in the freezer quickly while it's still wet and make these bits all cold but they're rubber and they have ridges on and yeah I just think it's amazing and Francesco loves it and it really really helps him. So that's it guys that is everything that we use that helps us and helps the babies through their teething journey. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already I would love for you to stick around for more videos. I don't have a schedule I upload kind of as and when as you can imagine my life is pretty hectic at home but I do all sorts of videos from vlogs, day in the lives, what I eat, fashion, beauty, uh, routine videos, cleaning videos, so pretty much everything. So if you like those kind of things then please please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye!